It's a lot of dreams that come together. My dream is, when I started acting in movies, I'd seen a Roja, I'd seen a Bombay, I'd seen a Nayagan, and I wanted to be in his films. I was in college that time and I had a classmate who was a cousin of his, and I became his friend because he's his cousin. <laughs> and uh, I used to always keep asking about money, sir. That's the impact he's had on me in the films that he's done, Mauna Ragam. There's so many movies, like frame by frame, I mean, I could just watch them over and over again. So that was a dream, to work in his film, and I had thought that even Mr. Shankar, if I work in both their films, I would retire. I don't want to act after that, and I still hadn't started acting. But I've acted in two films of both, their, both of theirs, and uh, I want to, I'm hungry for more. So that's one dream. Second dream is, of course, Rehman sir. The most amazing maestro alive, I think, in music. I mean, what he does for us. Yesterday, someone rightly said, even after 30 years, the songs that he played first, maybe in Aroja, is still very, very pertinent even today. The sounds, what he's used, the instruments he's used, how he's changed music and cinema as we know it. So it's always, it's always been a dream for me to work in his film. But what greater dream can there be than working in a film which both of them are together? Because they've given the most amazing music always, every single time. It's always a sixer. And I feel so proud to be a part of that. The other dream was, I've always wanted, I told Mani, sir, give me a nice yeah. role wherein like, you know, I, I have this entry on a bike and then you have like, in Alay Pai, there you'll have Maddie, Maddie and sounds <laughs> like that. And maybe it's like, Vicky, Vicky or Vikram, Vikram or Kenny, Kenny, whatever. He didn't, he disappointed me that way. He threw me into the jungle <laughs> in Ravan and into muck. And again, he called me for this and I said, okay, now what are we doing? He said, you're a prince. I said, wow, great. No, but you get into battle, you're only in battle and you're always covered in muck. So, <laughs> so you have to be rugged. You have to be, you have to be crude. You have to be a barbarian of sorts. You are a prince, but yes, uh, Eka will give you the most amazing costumes. But then you have to roll in the sand and then get ready for the shot. So that was how it was. So I was like, okay, so I'm not going to have that entry. But then you saw the entry in the trailer, which I think for me is my personal best shot ever in any film. Oh. Thank you, sir. I need that. I don't think I'll ever have that shot again. Neither will I have that hair again. So. <laughs> Uh, so, that shot is like the shot for me, coming as a prince on a horse and I, I, I feel, I think that's enough, I don't need anything more in the film. But then, you have Rahman sir, you have Todadarni, you have um, Todadarni sir, you have Ravi Verma, you have everybody who's like, you know, giving it their best and that's all because it's Mani sir's movie and they're all there and you know that you're going to be in a film like that, produced by one of the biggest production companies in India, Laika. Mm -hmm. So, what more can I ask? All my dreams have come true. And working with the most amazing actors, it's not very easy to get a combination like this because in the South especially, we don't have ensemble cast, we don't have that, we just have a solo hero. And I may meet him at a function and we're buddies and I may meet uh, uh, Karthik again at a function and say, Hi Karthik, how are you? Great, I saw your film. But never will we do a film where we're all together. This film has every actor except maybe I think there's one person called Mohan Ram. I think everybody else has been a hero or is a hero. And everyone has been a heroine on, even now. And of course, working with all of them, Ravi, Karthi, Trisha, Ash, it's been like phenomenal. And I get to work with Ash again after Ravanan. My only problem, my only gripe is, here too I don't get her. <laughs> <laughs> I play this tragic hero who never, whenever Manisa says Ash, I said really? So do I die in the end? Do I get her? Mm, yeah, let's think about it. But I don't think I can tweak the subject because it's already been written. So I may die, I may not die, but... Ash, why do you do this? Anyway, <laughs> so that's how it is and we've had a great time. We, we, we all, I think, Rehman sir rightly said yesterday, we are not thinking of this as a blockbuster or is it going to be a hit? Is it going to be nothing? We just feel proud to be part of something like this which has been everybody's dream. For the last 70 years, there's been this book for the last 40 years, Manisa has been trying. We've had MGR who's wanted to make the film. We had Kamal sir you want and you have almost everybody in the Tamil industry and trying to have made this film and we are all part of that, we are all part of history. There is fiction but it's mostly history. One of the most glorious periods of all times for South India and I'm glad to be a prince in that and I'm glad to be his prince. Thank you so once again and you're doing a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you so much sir for that.